So I wanted to talk a little bit about identity politics. I had cable in for like a month, maybe two months, and that was October right before the election. So I'd watch the news like every night, pretty much. And they would, I mean, I live in New York, so they would show Hillary Clinton, you know, spoke to this group today. And then they would show an LB, LGBT group, and she would say, you're LGBT? I'm for LGBT. Every night it was a different group. She would speak to that. They would say on the news, she spoke today to this group. Or last night, um, she spoke to this group. And she would always say, you're this, I'm for that. She would never really support it. I mean, I guess as a woman, she would say, oh, I'm a woman. But no one seems to question on the left the fact that the various groups don't always have the same interests. And in fact, sometimes their interests contradict each other. Women's groups supporting immigration, illegal immigration from patriarchal third world countries where men are raised to hate women. I don't understand it. So, but basically that's identity politics, that going around to all the various groups saying, you're in this group, I'm for that group. And even before, when I was hearing all of this, I did not know the term identity politics last October. I didn't come into the political, if you watch my channel, you know this. I didn't come into the political YouTubing community until April. And that happened because they weren't, they didn't let Ann Coulter speak in Berkeley. And that was how I ended up in this community, which is interesting because most people in this community are from Gamergate, and I'm not a gamer, so it's very unusual that I'm not a gamer, and in this per, uh, political YouTuber realm that also crosses into Twitter and Gab and other platforms. Before I even knew what identity politics were, before I even knew that, I understood just from watching the news last October, I would see how Hill Demon would go around to all these different groups saying, you're in this group, therefore I'm for you, because I'm for this group. And that, in a nutshell, is what identity politics are. And some of the YouTubers from this YouTuber community that I consider myself a part of, uh, some of them have also spoken about identity politics like, Lauren Southern actually teased someone at one point, basically pretending to be transgender. If you know me, I've always been someone who is super against what we call identity politics. I call it out at every turn for the cancer that it is to our political discourse. I assume that you're, you're a cisgender straight woman, because uh, you obviously... You are, I mean, that, you, really true, and that you, and that you probably, that. And that I you actually probably haven't ever been raped. Either. I actually identify so as an attack like, helicopter, so, me, so it's really me, offensive. You sound like you're speaking from a very privileged point of view here. I know that you are. You're actually the only woman who's actually featured. Because guess what? It's a bunch of dudes, and I do not appreciate that. Did you just when, call me a woman? I'm legally a man. Are you? Yes. Hmm. All right. That's it for now. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah.